Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, welcome to this new video. It's a different format that I want to try. Call, I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna call it data chat, where it's gonna be more transparent. It's kind of like a week in the life, uh, kind of like a day in the life. I don't know. Uh, it's more so just me being transparent and uh, trying to provide value by showing you my day to day stuff I do for work, stuff I do after work to help me increase my in income, uh, to level up. Uh, stuff like that I guess I don't know if that helps you guys understand what this is gonna be but hopefully if you stick to the end you will get a feel if you like it or not and please leave a comment down below letting me know what you think if this is a format that you want to stick through uh, if you got if you guys want to see this more in the future but yeah just let me know what you think I have to hop off very quickly because I got a presentation I got to go through and I haven't made the slides so I'm gonna have to do that real quick it's for a project proposal that I'm working on uh, essentially think of uber or Lyft and uh, think of when you book a ride uh, maybe on the back end you don't know this but on the back end multiple drivers get offers uh, or get that offer for that specific ride depending on where they are their rating and stuff like that uh, but what I want to do is I want to predict which driver is going to accept the offer or the probability of that driver accepting the offer so that we can save some time you know just eliminate certain drivers who are probably not going to accept that offer and move on to the drivers who are more likely to so yeah uh, I don't know we'll see how it goes I think this can help yeah I really think this can help uh move some metrics that our company is looking to move so we'll see uh i'll keep you guys updated like i said i gotta prepare the slides and you know figure it out from there uh yeah hopefully you guys enjoy let me know how you like the new camera the lighting and stuff i'm gonna keep checking in uh throughout the video and then i'll get back to you guys later on when i have time uh yeah but right now that's it uh stay tuned i guess see you guys later So hopefully the angle is fine. Ignore the messy background right now. Uh, I am packing to move, we're moving soon. So I just wanna get everything uh, outside of where they are, all the big stuff that we don't really use uh, in a place where I can easily take them out later. Uh, but essentially what I wanna do right now is I wanna do the slides. I got sick of being in the room because I'm in there every day for meetings and stuff. So I wanted to go outside, watch some TV and figure out the slide deck. I am in between two approaches. I have a massive information deck that I have. It's just like an information blob on a Word doc. And I don't know if I should transfer all of that into the slide deck. They're all technical people, but I just don't know if they need to know all the details. Uh, the other option is just a high level minimalistic, you know, slide deck. I'm using Canva. I have Canva premium, so that's going to be helpful. Uh, I might have a bug that I need to fix. I don't know yet, but from what I think, like my theory is, the the way I'm collecting the data right now is good enough, but when I'm, uh, you know, the, the end goal is to produce or deploy this model into production. So we're pulling in live data, and the way I'm imputing the data right now is not going to be the same way I will be imputing when we're getting live data in from the app. So I need to figure a workaround or retrain the mod model and stuff like that. I think there is a solution. I think I could use uh, a fax table or do a nightly run, but I don't know. I, I'll have to think through it and I'll, I'll have to just have to check my code and figure out uh, if the way I'm imputing the data right now uh, for missing values and stuff like that is gonna work for a production model because uh, it's gonna be a shadow model for the first week and then hopefully after it's gonna go into uh, the app and it's gonna be used to you know skip uh, certain drivers and stuff like that. So yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. Uh, hopefully it's nothing big, but yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll catch you guys back after when I have the chance. See you guys. All right, so I think I got the slides done. Uh, I think I have enough. It's a very minimalistic slide deck, but it's enough to explain the project to the stakeholders. These guys are like three or four levels above me, so I don't wanna waste their time. 
So I can get straight to the point and tell them what I need and what the impact of this project is gonna be and make sure everything on my end, all the ducks are clear and stuff like that. So just wanna present this in the most simple and most impactful uh, manner as I can. And hopefully that's enough to drive this project forward. I get support from my director for this project. So it's, it's pretty neat to have him pushing this too. Uh, there was a bug. I don't know if I mentioned it before, but there was a bug that I uh, encountered while you know uh, making the slide deck. I fixed it. Uh, at least I did a quick fix. I don't know if it's a permanent fix. Uh, I need to do more tests to figure that out, but uh, it was nice to be able to catch that right before the presentation or else that would have been a massive uh, upset. But uh, I'll catch you guys back after the presentation. I'm not sure if I can record it because it's a lot of PII and a lot of uh, you know confidential information, but uh, I'll keep you guys updated. And I'm very excited to uh, talk about the two other projects that I'm working outside of work. Uh, I, I don't know if I told you this yesterday, but uh, I had an idea yesterday of what I want to do uh, to help you guys to give back, I guess, uh, in terms of providing value. I know a lot of you guys are in the job market or searching for jobs right now. So I want to make a tool that can help you guys. And I have two, uh, two tool ideas in mind. One was a suggestion from someone uh, who is very close to me, my brother, and the other one was just an idea I came up with. So we'll see how it goes. I don't know how far I can take it yet. Uh, just because of time and you know, I don't know if the resources I need is out there just yet. I'm sure it is. I just have, I just have to invest enough time to look into it. Yeah, I'm sorry for all the suspense. I'll fill you guys in later, I promise. Uh, but for right now, I have to go. I don't want to be late for this meeting. I'll see you guys. Uh, where did I leave off last? Oh yeah, the presentation. Uh, the presentation went well. We have another one tomorrow morning to basically the entire company. Uh, I'm just gonna talk about the problem this project's trying to solve, the metrics we're gonna evaluate uh, the project on, the success metrics and stuff, uh, and when we wanna go live so that we can you know, plan accordingly. Uh, so yeah, that should be neat. I just need to make a couple adjustments to these slides, which is why I'm running some pretty hefty code right now. I need to get updated data just so I can complete the slides. Uh, yeah, I also want to talk about the project I mentioned sometime earlier today, uh, probably on video. Uh, but basically, I want to make a resume scorer. Uh, when I was looking for jobs last year, I found pretty early on that the rejections I was getting at the resume level or before getting any interviews or phone screens was because of my resume. I wasn't passing the ATS scans. Uh, I wasn't answering the questions they were asking during the application stage well enough. So I wanna make a resume score to help you guys understand your ATS score and hopefully help you guys pass the ATS scan. Uh, what I wanna try to do is to look into my company and other companies and see what ATS scan they use, what the algorithm is, or the, you know what machine learning model they're trying to use or they're using it's some sort of NLP I'm, I'm pretty sure uh, and you know figure out from there how I can implement that and you know hopefully help you guys uh, use it make a free tool where you guys can just use your your, your resume uh, upload your resume there and uh, get your ATS score and make improvements based on the recommendations there the goal is to provide a free and reliable tool that you guys can use to help improve your resume and reduce uh, the number of rejections you're getting it's kind of bittersweet honestly because I haven't really done any front-end coding or built any web apps or you know websites in almost two years yeah I think my portfolio was probably one of the last projects I've, I've worked on uh, involving you know front-end work HTML CSS so yeah it's, it's kind of bittersweet I know coding is a part of my job I code almost every single day but you know stuff like this is very different from building 
a super nice web website or web app or uh, iOS app with Flutter or React or Swift. Uh, this is more machine learning, data cleaning, processing, data preparation, analysis, uh, just training algorithms and doing that over and over again. So it's, it's kind of different, which is nice because I want to get out of this you know, machine learning bubble that I'm in. Uh, and I think it's going to be helpful because a lot of uh, the stuff you do in machine learning involves some sort of software engineering or data engineering where you have to you know, build a front end so that your predictions can be viewed or, or your app can, your machine learning model can be used like a GPT model. If ChatGPT didn't have a front end, nobody could use ChatGPT. So yeah, but for, uh, for right now, I think I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to focus on the algorithm itself. Uh, I'll talk more about this tomorrow. It's getting kind of late here. I don't know if you can tell. Uh, but yeah, I do have a computer science background. Uh, and like I said, I've done stuff like this in the past. So hopefully the muscle memory will kick in at some point. But yeah, I'm pretty excited to get back into building stuff, uh, especially projects like this that will hopefully give you guys some value. What I'm trying to do is provide as much value and you know give as much impact as I can to you guys uh, through stuff like this. So hopefully it works. I don't know how it's gonna go. Either you're gonna watch me succeed and uh, have a, a tool to use uh, sometime soon in the future or you watch me fail in this video so uh, we'll see either way i'll document it so you guys can watch and you know keep yourself entertained All right, so I have an update. Basically, we got the V1 version pretty much done. Uh, I'm able to now prompt you guys with a web page to upload your resume and then from there direct you to a new page where you would paste the job description uh, and then I'd use my algorithm, which is just a basic keyword matching algorithm. It's nothing great uh, to give you a resume score. There's also a couple other APIs that I can use like OpenAPI to do this for me. So I'm gonna figure that out, but this is just V1. Uh, I'm imagining V5 or V6 down the line, it'll be more comprehensive where uh, users have to create profiles and you can track your jobs there, uh, where it'll have like a database for each user uh, of the jobs they applied with columns like job name, recruiter's name, date of application, the link to the job, uh, your resume score and the resume you used. Uh, yeah, hopefully it's comprehensive and scalable. Uh, we'll see when we get there. I also have a vision for V10 down the line, uh, which was, was gonna be pretty far down the line, if I'm being honest, where you can reformat your resume with just one click, where it reformats your whole resume based on the recommendations uh, the ATS um, algorithm gives you, or the uh, AI gives you, whatever it might be, whatever I'm using then. Uh, so yeah, hopefully it's possible. I think that's gonna be much more complicated than I think right now, uh, because if one, you have to reformat your resume, which is a whole different battle, uh, but to the algorithm itself has to be pretty darn good for us to get to that level. So yeah, right now it should be good enough for you guys to play with. Uh, feel free to try it out. It works on my computer. I'm gonna deploy it sometime today or tomorrow. Uh, so you guys can use it too, but yeah, try it out. Let me know how you uh, feel. Let me know how accurate you think it is. Uh, I've not done any tests, so I can't really give any feedback there, but uh, I just wanted to have some some tool you guys can use, you know, just as a, so you can understand your resume score better if you have no threshold at all whatsoever. But yeah, that's all I have for right now. I have to go for a run and work out real quick. I'll catch you guys back later. The video is getting pretty long, so um, maybe this is gonna be split up to a couple parts. But yeah, either way, I'll catch you guys later. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this format. Hopefully the lighting and camera is good. I don't know. Uh, bear with me. It's a new camera. It's a new situation. So yeah, just stay with me and let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Uh, yeah, the second project I want to build is a Discord bot. That's going to be more complicated, more APIs, uh, and more web scraping. So I'll talk about that more later uh, or maybe in part two if this is a two-part series. So uh, yeah, I'll fill you guys in when I have the chance. I got to go right now for that run and for that quick workout. So I'll catch you guys back in a bit. We're pretty much done for this video. There's a couple other things that I want to talk about and it's going to be in part two. I think I've decided to split it up. 
Uh, but if this video does well, if you guys like it, leave a comment down below. We're going to make it a series and try to you know, document the whole progress. I do plan for this to be a long-term project, but the uh, MVP, the V1, is deployed. Uh, I had a lot of problems deploying it uh, just because what I initially wanted to use Heroku, uh, they terminated their free tier, which I just wasn't aware of. So I had to try something else and I'm using Python anywhere now. Uh, but I think I'm going to look into uh, better methods of deploying it just so I can scale because there's a restriction for memory and other things that I just don't like. Uh, but yeah, right now it is deployed. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description below for the uh, URL. I can't use my own domain just because I'm using a free tier. Uh, but I do plan on scaling this. And when I do, I'm going to put some money in to pay for a service, either a you know PaaS or a SaaS. Uh, I haven't decided yet, but we'll, we'll talk about it and we'll think about it as we go. Uh, but yeah, for right now, it is deployed. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, or if you just want to keep uh, letting me know what you think, just leave them down below. Uh, I appreciate all the comments and all the feedback you guys give me. It helps me make better videos, more valuable videos for you guys. So I truly appreciate all the feedback and all the you know support that you guys have been giving me. But yeah, if you guys want to understand the technical part of the whole project and you want to get into the nitty gritty of deploying uh, you know, a web app like this, like a Flask app, this was my first time deploying something like this. So uh, you can you know watch it, watch the progress with me. Uh, that video should be coming up soon, uh, probably same time next week. But yeah, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Again, leave the feedback down below. Uh, see you guys.